man who she then goes into a court of law in Pretoria and says, this is my customary law husband with the support of her father, who is also in the dock, saying, I got Lebola for her 60,000 rand, etc. So, so full that's well, the connection. I'm sorry. Yes, to yes. So that's the connection that then brings the father into this case. Absolutely. He went, there's evidence in that court application that he goes and tries to claim um, Katlejo's body on the proposition from a from a funeral parlor in Soweto saying no it's 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 his customary son-in-law we know of course that that was not correct and when Mago Mago Domana goes to the court urgently and says this is my customary law husband I'm entitled to his body she accuses the police of all kind of wrongdoing she's being victimized etc etc her father goes under oath in that court process and says yes I negotiated Lebola in like late 2020 with his late uncle and, you know, goes into great detail about drinking alcohol with this man, etc., etc. So he supports her. In- Remember when I did the video about Dr. Nandipa's father getting bail? I had to ask back then, you guys. I had to ask. And I said, why give him bail? Why does it seem like the court is lenient when it comes to him? I know we are raised to feel sorry for our elders and respect them, but I just did not feel sorry for him. Now I'm actually happy because I know that my instinct was correct all along. I know the police must have had probable cause to arrest him in the first place. According to News24, Dr. Nandipa and her father went to the mortuary to claim Katlakho's body. She said that Okatlakho is her customary husband. And the father begged her and said that he received 60,000 rands lobola from him. This evil old guy, the evil old guy, even went on to say that um, he negotiated for his daughter together with Gatlejo's late uncle. I think he used late so that um, he didn't have to like pick someone else to come and play Gatlejo's uncle's role. And he even went on to say how he was drinking alcohol with the uncle and how everything seemed fine and the children were married according to customary law. This guy is actually more involved than many people were thinking. Remember when he was bailed out, um, the murder charges were dropped well i say he might not be guilty of murder but i think he should be charged with conspiracy after the fact because he had the largest lever to go and lie under oath to say that katla khobering was his son-in-law because remember after the the officials the the officials at the mortuary refused to give them the body they went and applied at the court for the for the body to be released to them and they both lied under oath that Katlejo was the son-in-law and the husband i'm actually thinking that Katlejo was killed for his identity because you remember there was a time where u u bester was using Katlejo's name as his own i'm thinking they wanted to kill Katlejo so that he can be Katlejo. And the person who would be dead in the, in the jail cell would be Otabo Bester. So no more Tabo Bester, now images Katlejo. This is really so cruel, you guys. It's evil. And it's unraveling like wildfire. And I'm thinking, I'll be watching this with red eyes, you guys. I'm not letting it go one bit. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one.